to the Erie's uh, breeding program. Uh, Erie, uh, uh, you are here to see the Erie varieties. Uh, we start with IR8, which has been a miracle rice. This is the first semi dwarf variety released by Erie in 1966. This variety has unique characteristic. This variety is uh, uh, short uh, in stature. It is uh, resistant to lodging and uh, unlike earlier traditional rice varieties, this variety has become one of the miracle rice. As a result of cultivation of this variety, the world rice production has doubled and Iri used this material uh, in the beginning uh, to develop semi-dwarf high yielding variety. So this is the classical variety which was released by Iri. And later on, we used this kind of semi-dwarf varieties uh, which are very high yielding but we try to improve in our breeding program incorporate other characteristics like uh, improved grain type. For example, if you see IR22, this variety has uh, uh, long cylinder, uh, medium cylinder grain which are preferred by the consumers in Asian countries and subsequently we try to incorporate resistance to many diseases and insects. For example, if you go around here IR26, this variety has gene spar, we incorporated the gene spar, this one uh, resistance to uh, brown plant hopper and later on subsequently we try to improve the uh, varieties in other characteristics and one of the classical example is the variety called IR36. If you see this IR36 varieties, it has a very unique characteristic. It is early in maturity, short in duration, its grain characteristics are, its grain quality is so preferred by the consumer. This variety is another example that it was grown on 11 million hectares of rice land and this is the first variety which has occupied so much area uh, in rice as compared to uh, historically any variety cultivated worldwide. And then we continue to improve other characteristics and you see here uh, these are the other varieties like IR42, 43 and uh, 44 and another example is that you see these varieties like IR45, IR46. These varieties have improved grain quality and uh, people prefer this kind of grain quality in Asia and our breeding effort is always to incorporate resistance to diseases and insects and meet the grain quality characteristic because it's a continuous game to develop resistance to diseases and insects uh, and if we do not develop a variety with a good level of resistance to diseases and insects the farmers will continue will have to spend some more money in developing uh, in using agrochemicals and other uh, insecticides so to overcome this one we we always breed varieties which have strong level of resistance to diseases and insects Similarly, if you see other variety like we continue to develop IR54, IR56, uh, 58 and then one of the m another very important variety is IR64. This variety was released in 1989 and uh, this variety is so much preferred in grain quality even after 20 years of release this variety at present is occupying about 30 percent area in Asia. In many countries like Vietnam, in some parts of India it, and in Philippines this is still very popular variety and the unique characteristic of this variety is this has the same semi-dwarfing gene which we used in the miracle variety that is IR8 but this variety is, is having resistance to at least six to seven diseases and insects and also tolerance to abiotic stresses which are very important component of our breeding efforts and then we continue to incorporate uh, different characteristics in these varieties incorporating resistance to diseases and if you see here more recently we are trying to develop varieties which are high yielding and which fit into the uh, cropping system uh, up to 74 ERI was giving the numbers, th these varieties were named as IR, but after IR 74, we are developing still many varieties, but those varieties which are released by the Philippine Seed Board, they are labeled under PSB, and you see here, the first variety was PSBRC2, and subsequently we have been developing this kind of uh, varieties to meet the requirements of the, uh, uh, the rice consumers, and uh, our main emphasis is these varieties which are being developed, they are always developed in collaboration with our NARS partner because 
we have several NARS partner in Asia and Africa. So the material is tested in different hotspots in uh, different countries, and the one which is found useful uh, that is released. And one of the classical example of our breeding program is so far from this breeding efforts which we are making at Erie, 644 varieties have been released in 77 countries. And this is the result of our breeding efforts which we continue here in collaboration with our NARS partner. And these 633 varieties have been released in 77 countries. Besides this, we are uh, most of the uh, varieties which are cultivated in other parts of uh, uh, different rice growing country at least one of the parent is uh, contributed by the iri germplasm so our continuous effort is to develop improved germplasm so that we are able to uh, develop the material in such a way that can, which can meet the requirement of of our consumer of the farmers or the resource poor farmers and now we are trying to improve the uh, nutritional quality for which we have tried to incorporate genes for like uh, beta carotene or golden rice. Similarly, we are working on incorporating high iron content or zinc content because those are very important component for future uh, work on the human health. And uh, this is one of the major thrust of uh, ERI to develop improved varieties through breeding efforts and also to improve the disease and sector resistance and with a particular focus on nutritive value of uh, a variety which we say as second generation of improved new plant type and uh, this variety is NSIC1 RC158 this was released in the Philippines in 2007 or uh, 2008 and this variety is the first example how the original new plant type was used in breeding a new a variety which is more like indica type and this is the first variety which is high yielding after the semi dwarf varieties and uh, this is a classical example how new plant type varieties uh, have been developed by making large number of intercrosses and this variety we see that it was released in 2008 and it's becoming quite popular in the Philippines and we are going to disseminate this material to other rice growing countries as well.